Hey guys, M13 here. It is September the 17th and I'm on a motorcycle. I was going to try to keep it a secret, but you've already seen. <laughs> keep it a secret. Well, until I started riding, but it's a, what is this? It's like a 1979 or something. It's like a 30, what is that? It's like a 40 year old motorcycle. It's a, 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 when I visit Canada, I stay at my ex well, yeah, I shouldn't really call my ex. She was just a, a friend. Because we, we never... We, we, we dated, but it was just like... Friends dating, you know? Like, it was... We, we were never exclusive. We were never really... We, we were never really a couple. But, you know, we dated. So my ex-female... I don't know. My <laughs> I stay at my female friend's house. Ex-girlfriend's fine. <laughs> I stay, every time I visit Canada, I stay at my ex-girlfriend's house. And she has a thing for uh, motorcycles. Um, I don't even know if she knew I had a motorcycle when we first met. I'll have to ask her. Um, but, uh, yeah, so she bought them. She, she likes motorcycles. And uh, her father drives a motorcycle. And we dated for a bit. And I ride a motorcycle. And then she went out and bought her own motorcycle. But she, she got a motorcycle license and everything. But she's, she's too uh, chicken to ride it. So... So whenever I come visit Canada, she puts it on the road. And li literally, the last time I came to Canada, her dad was like taking it around the block to help warm it up for me, and he crashed. He was just doing a ride around the block, and he crashed it. And then, so I, they told me they were gonna have a bike ready for me, and I show up, and they moved. And uh, I show up, and there was nothing. And then that was when I made the last Canada series. You can buy that series. It was in 2008. It's a private series of mine. You can buy it on my website, and it's. I, you know, I don't have a bike in that series, but it's still a good series because because it's still a good series because there's a lot of like those growing up life changing moments that I talk about, like like you know my first rejection, my first this, my first fight, my first a lot of firsts. <laughs> um, yeah, I really try. Whoa, that guy's like just hugging that curb. That was for me. I'm no, he's still hugging the curb. I'm trying to figure out, is he hugging the curb because he saw a bike coming down the road? Is he trying to move over for me? Is he just hugging the curb because he's for no reason? Or going golfing? Um, that's weird. See that bird? I thought it was a kangaroo. Like, how does my brain work? I'm like, oh, look, there's a kangaroo up there. In this, and I'm like, no. Um, yeah, so the last time I was here in 2008, the bike had just... <laughs> His, her father was nice enough to crash it for me so I didn't have a bike and then before that was maybe two. on average I come here once every 3-4 years so before that it was maybe like 2000 and 2000 and like yeah 2004 or something that I came back and that and then back in 2004 I was riding around on this but back then I, I wasn't vlogging so yeah so that's the uh so this is cool. This is my first time riding a motorcycle in Canada in, in like eight years. Uh, and I know it's not that exciting for you guys because I've had people, I've had people comment, ah, oh, you know, like it's not like when you're in Taiwan. But you know, um, but there's, there's, I got some good stories. Once I, I'm gonna, I'm, right now I'm just, I'm, I'm not gonna be riding much. I'm gonna head back to the house. But uh, Gibson. But, uh, you know, once this, this, Winnipeg does have some uh, beautiful spots, and I'm, I'm going to be doing some good blogging from there. So uh, I rented a car. You guys saw that in the other one. I got a, Nurse, a Nissan Versa, and then I've got this motorcycle. You might see the lights come on. I'll turn it off. Push it. Slide it back, yeah. So now I've got a motorcycle, I've got a car. <laughs> All I need is some scooters and some dogs, and I'm set. Um, yeah. Oh, I, a couple of updates. The, for those of you that have my 2011 private series, I'm kind of screwed. I actually, like, brought with me a hard drive, and I was going to continue to, like, uplo upload to that series. But at the moment, I can't do it because I, um... I can't... I, uh, I, I'm having trouble logging in. I just... My computer back in Taiwan, you like log in 
I'm gonna get arrested because I'm moving my hands around when I'm talking because you guys know I do that a lot and some cops are gonna like see me like and they're gonna be like you talking on the cell phone while you're on your bike your hands are all over once you got two hands on the thing I'm gonna get busted so I gotta like try to keep my hands on the thing um, yeah so my computer back in Taiwan it has like all passwords and stuff like just it just remembers them you know like in the in the browser so when I would log in to like change my website it was pretty automatic and now I'm trying to do it here in Canada and I don't remember my password and evidently one of the like uh, the website is like managed by someone other than me and I think the guy that's managing my website he set it up using his own e he set up my administration account using his email or because maybe he didn't have my email handy at the time or something but regardless I don't have uh, yeah it's not work like I'm, I'm clicking for forgot password and it's like okay we're seeing email and I'm checking like all four or five of my email accounts and it's not going to any of them so I, I don't know what email it used and I can't remember the password so I, I'm unable to edit my website as of right now but I sent an email to my partner, and as soon as he gets back to me, then I'll, I'll and as soon as we figure out a solution, then I'll uh, I'll start up, I'll, I'll I'll continue to update the 2011 private series, and then I'll probably make some private videos while I'm in Canada as well. I uh, I raped and beat a girl to death right near here. I'll go there and I'll tell that story, and that'll be in my private series. I don't think I'll put that on YouTube. like that and I just and then I'm just like fuck this so I just follow him and I follow him all the way to his house and of course yeah yeah why don't you fucking look